Good evening, friends. Welcome to the show. We are working on an Olympia SF Deluxe in script. And I got this machine as a project machine because it had some rust to it. And the previous owner took everything apart to de-rust it, but didn't have the um, desire to put it all back together again. So I'm trying my hand on it. Luckily, he did a great job of bagging everything up and making diagrams and took pictures. So corresponding letters and numbers are easy to to do. I mean, it's still a huge task because, I mean, they're everything separated into linkage numbers and, and whatnot, but everything is blown apart and I'm going to have to puzzle piece it back. It's like a giant Lego typewriter set, except you're actually building um, typewriters. And uh, so far it's going so good, but I thought I'd do a little um, demo demonstration of how I, how we or anybody does these linkages. Um, all the linkages will be marked will be number marked with numbers stamp numbers 0 through 42 43 depending on how many characters are on the typewriter and each of them have a linkage and they go through this segment and we tell everybody to clean the segment because the type type bar pivots in here and if it gets gunked on the sides and inside there then you're not going to have a good type response um, then there's a linkage system that connects through this Pin. You can see it's kind of like a U-shaped bar that goes through this whole comb or the segment, and then there's a hole in there, and it, that's what what it pivots on. And so what you're what you got to do is when you put these in is um, you take there's a hook end of this and a circle end. Okay, the the hook end that looks like a fish hook is your starting end, and then this hook um, it's a flat circle. It, it latches into this type bar and it allows it to not fall out of the tie bar. It can still fall out of this side, the hook end, but um, what you're gonna do is take your tie bar and you're gonna come in through the right side with the hook. The hook end goes into this little hole and then you're gonna feed it all the way through until this plug end goes onto the side of that guy, like that. So now you have your Bar linkage and the, the bend, at least on this SF, the, the, the bend is towards the bar. So you can see it's not going to fall out of the end of this because it's capped off. It's it's pinched. It's peened. It's been locked in place. So that's just, that's going to be how it is there. Now to get it onto the the link down at the bottom, you'll look at, see what this, what letter it is. This is Z. So I find the Z guy moving. And then it helps to sometimes lift up the other, I'm focusing on the the uh, typewriter at this point so I'm not looking in the, the viewfinder to see what we're what we're dealing with so hopefully you guys can see so what I do is I jam up the other keys that are to the uh, left of it or right depending on if you start on the other side of the segment or not and then I'm gonna find the Z and I'm gonna poke it up and then I'm gonna feed the hook into its little guy into its little hole so now I have the thing hooked onto the the guy down there so this guy these all can come back down Clear, clear, clear. Make sure it's not rubbing on anything. And now it's just a matter of sticking this into the, the corresponding slot and then pushing this one little millimeter to lock it through that hole. And then you move on to the next bar. So while it's like this, you press the Z key to get the, the, um, the link all the way back into its full range of motion. And then you slow, slowly slide in the spot and you just kind of feed it in and you try to find the, oh, I think I, I passed it. It's kind of a fiddly thing trying to find the, the right, right spot. Oops, let's make sure we don't lose the, the Q and the A, I went too far. Let's do the Q and the A at the same time now. Um, Let's make sure we get the Q back in here. Yeah, if you pull too far on the this U bar that I'm working on up here on the, with my left hand, you'll lose the link. And you don't want to lose the link because you just have to find it, the hole again and, and get it back in the spot. Oops, let's get this Q going. The Q fell out when I pulled it. So we'll try this Q. 
Oh wait, what is that? That's the two. Two. That. <laughs> you know, as soon as you start a video, that's when the, the fun really happens. Cause it could be like the easiest thing to do, and then you turn on the turn on the video, and it's uh, it starts to struggle. I think because it's such a focused job to find to get these in the correct way. If you start messing around with the, talking to cameras and stuff, it's when you start to lose your focus a bit. So yeah, you got to do forty something of these things, and that's why it's it's not all that that fun, guys. So. I try not to take things apart unless I absolutely have to. Because um, a lot of this cleaning could have been done with the, with the parts in the machine. There we go. Sorry guys. I just pulled the, the, the bar out a little too far when I was doing, doing the guy. It's not stuck on anything. Okay. So yeah, that's getting a tight bar in there. I gotta find out why this one's sticking up. Like I said, you, you start pulling things apart and then you start coming into bent, bent linkages and stuff and it's just, yeah, take apart the least amount of things you guys can because now I gotta go back and, and fix more stuff. So that's it guys, seven minute video on something that should take two minutes, but it's not. So good day.